We got no problems, gang fighting among self, a lack of love for self, no respect for our women. We don't have no property. We don't have no land. We didn't work 400 years to make this country the wealthiest country on the planet. None of you politicians talk about repaying us for the 400 years of slave labor. You're not the ones who slaved us, who lynched us or raped us, but your people stole the property and left it with you, and you're still guilty because you keep it. All the TV stations, all the lectures, the Ramada Inns, the Holiday Inns, all the land, everything is yours. So ain't nothing in politics for us. Yeah, but Action. Bro, don't nobody in America give a damn about the black man. Except for the black man. Correct. And then when you ask them about like the historical injustice of black people from from the civil rights movement or from slavery to Jim Crow, they just look at him like, hey, y'all should have overcome that already. Why y'all still talking about that? Why you got a victim mindset? Correct. I'm like, hey, acknowledging history is not a victim mindset. I'm acknowledging facts. Correct. But they don't give a damn about the facts. Because the facts do not suit whatever they have in their mind. The facts do not align with it. The fact of the matter is, yes, we have been subjugated to a whole bunch of things. But in today's time, if you are able to make a way for yourself, they, they feel as though that's good enough. Those are your rep your reparations is you can go get a job at McDonald's. Is that for real reparations, though? Because before reparations, I could pick cotton or I could whatever, whatever slavery entailed. I had a place to live. Mm -hmm. I had food to eat. And yeah, I had a dictator with his foot on my neck, but I could survive. My lineage could survive. Correct. So do you feel as though we can't survive in today's time as being a black man? We exist. In what space? I mean, we, we exist in America. Like, I'm trying to navigate being a black man in America right now. That's why this conversation with you was so important to me. Correct. Poor black men are caught between poor white men and rich black men. I try to tell a poor white man, hey, I done had all these historical injustices. And he's like, I don't give a shit. I'm still poor. Correct. And then when I try to talk to a, a rich black man, he says, look, I made it. If I made it, you can make it. And it's not even because we have a class system in America. So the 99, per, uh, the 1% is looking down at 99% say you could be up here with me too. And that's a fallacy. That's not reality. It's not a reality because there is no road to make it to that 1%. So you, you can tell me what you want to tell me all you want to. But if there is no, no plan in action, like there is no blueprint in order for us to be able to make it there. The road to success, it has so many different paths. Correct. And so when you say the blueprint, the thing that got Muhammad Ali a uh, rich, I'm not six foot two, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't have hands like that. I ain't got hands like lightning. I can't punch niggas across the ring. So do you think if, if black parents were were better at parenting, then we wouldn't have to look up to, well, our role models would not be athletes and or celebrities. If, if, if you had a parent in, in the household, do you not think that the parent would be the role model in that situation versus us looking at who who actually what I wanted to say? My father was a working class man. I got to see him every single day. He showed me structure. He showed me how to be a man. Him punching in every single day showed me how to exist in America. But me watching his routine, it didn't show me how to be rich in America. It, it didn't show me how to create organizations and institutions in America. Did you ever ask, like, what was that his purpose? Was to become a rich man or was it his purpose to provide for his family? Providing for your family because, like, th this is a competition. We're all yes, in competition sir. right now. If you choose to compete, then you understand the rules of, the, of engagement. A lot of black people, a lot of poor people in America are just simply choosing not to compete. We look at rich folks and, like, that's our standard. Yes, and so when you talk about parenting, the only thing that a parent can do is be the best version of themselves. But if I have aspirations to, to climb the class ladder, I, how can I look at a person who's never done it and, and ask them, give me a blueprint on how to get to the place you ain't never been at? Okay, so then in that instance, you would look up to the ones who already have made it there. But they are not coming back. They're not reaching back for us. I think one like one of the most powerful black figures in in history Who? is is Muhammad Ali. In we, a sense, but I, I also knew that like um when I was speaking to your father, it was a sense to where when Muhammad Ali was in his heyday, the black man did not appreciate what a Muhammad Ali was bringing. Like from I'm looking at it right, mm -hmm. and I'm looking at Muhammad Ali. His name is Cassius Clay. That's his and, name. And so if you were... He got two daddies. Man, how the hell you got... <laughs> how can I respect the man who love another man more than love his own father? How can I do that? That's not reality for me. But you also said that he was one of the greatest black athletes. 
Yes. And so we put so much prestige on athletics. Like just because so he he talked some of that Islam rhetoric. And so uh, we just look at him and appreciate him because he was like black, 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 and he black. Man, ain't nobody love Muhammad Ali for being black. They love Muhammad Ali because he can knock niggas out. Bam. Mm. That's why we respect Muhammad Ali. So would you feel as though he was indoctrinated? I believe that he indoctrinated us. Mm. That mother that, that man said the Viet Cong ain't never did nothing to me. Bro, because you're a heavyweight champion of the world. Correct. For every other black man in America, going to fight the Viet Cong was economic advancement. Correct. That's the system of America. War is the policy of America. We go to war, we whoop ass, and we make money off of kicking ass. But how many wars can you can you push yourself into before the people start noticing that it's, it's not for the benefit of the people? I asked Muhammad Ali that. How many <laughs> wars was he in until he got the shakes? He was old shaky ass nigga. I, see... I feel as though somebody somebody did something to Muhammad. And you got to fight, and you got to fight until you get the shakes. Okay, so how many fighters have had Parkinson's? I can't answer that question. Okay. I just understand that when you enter into the battle, then you're going to get wounded. That's all I understand. So if I'm, if I'm not trying to get into the battle, metaphorically, if I'm not trying to get into the battle, but I'm speaking on the battle, yes. then what does that make me? A spectator. Correct. <laughs> so then him being the greatest black athlete... It was from a spectator point of view. Even though he 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 reached those heights, I, w- I would say Jack Johnson would be a better example. I think for me, Jack Johnson was the epitome of a man because when they were still lynching black men, he was beating the shit out of white men and smashing on white women, <laughs> driving across the nation in the fastest cars. He and he existed in a time where he, These was, all facts. he was a unicorn. Mm-hmm. And so I look at that strength and I'm like, hey, these were his own ideas. Correct. He didn't have no... Uh, 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 he didn't even have a formal education. He didn't have the nation of Islam putting these thoughts in him. No. He was just like, bro, I, I will fight a, a fade all bar none. What's up? Bar none meaning 15 rounds. <laughs> they, I, they th- 30 them. rounds. Yeah, bar none. I, I don't care. We finna fight all day until we figure out who, who's winning. Correct. And I think that like... For the average man, the average black man in America right now, you're not willing to fade all bar none. You ain't willing to go 30 oh, rounds with nothing. Not at all. Not at all. Unless I have a 30 on me. You ain't. <laughs> unless, I, unless I had that thing on me, there is nothing. And, and and this is just just pure energy. This is pure charisma. Like I say charisma, the young people say riz. Yeah, yeah. I, I came across that term. I got that riz. I came right? across that term. Yeah. Do you have? But the, back in my day, it was swag. Swag. It, they, it 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 always um, it always manipulates itself. So whatever we was burnt like brought up on. Yes. The new age is just gonna it's gonna be the, the same essence, but it'll be a different term for. It. Can I impact the people around me? That's all it is. Do I have enough energy with inside myself to mm. impact the people around me? Mm. That's it. And so Muhammad Ali, this man was was big. He was powerful. He was articulate. But you got to understand, he, he came around the 60s, right? The yes. 60s, 70s? Yes. So then the, the television was the main source of media at that point. He's a light-skinned, handsome, articulate man in America. Correct. Smashing a bunch of women. I seen a video where Muhammad Ali was in a casino. I think it was with a, uh, it was with one boxer, and the boxer had a, a fake gun on him. Yeah. Yeah. What, what was the boxer? I can't tell you who had the fake gun. I'm yeah. listening to the story. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. I'm just saying that then <laughs> Muhammad Ali was running running off at the mouth. I'm gonna yeah. tell you what. If I existed in the exact same time as Muhammad Ali, I would challenge Muhammad Ali, and I'd have that thing on me because nigga knocked my ass smooth out. Correct. Hey, uh, I know, I know that he's not here to defend himself, man, man. I don't give a damn about Muhammad Ali because he pushed rich black rhetoric that doesn't apply to me. But it 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 applied to the ones that it settled with. So the the ones who who heeded his message and and, and became rich black men themselves, then they can they can look at Muhammad Ali and say, "This is the reason why I do this." This is the reason why I, I I take this so serious because of the simple fact. Uh, let's push back on that. How yes, many how many men looked at Muhammad black men looked at Muhammad Ali and became rich? Uh, I couldn't give you a statistic. It's very few of us. I'm just saying. Yes, like when you just look at the percentages, most of us are not going to be heavyweight champions. Most of us are not going to be business owners. Most of us are not going to be hundred thousandaires. That's not our reality. 
Cool. And so when you talking to me from your vantage point, nigga, you don't even understand what it means to be me. So then who would who would you consider a, a great role model? Kanye West. Kanye. Kanye, bro, because he yeah. did he did it. He came from the place of of I mean, his mother was a teacher or whatever, but these aren't no she, professor. She wasn't a leader of any industry. No. And so no. he was a student of life and he trained himself on how to go learn how to accomplish a task and he set goals for himself and he accomplished the task. But do you do you see when you have a, a, a free mind how the media treats you? And and that's how you gotta navigate it. And that for I'm gonna speak for Muhammad Ali. Mm-hmm. The way that he navigated the media, that was so beautiful. Because even when they tried to stump him, he was so articulate that he could have them baffled. But at the same time, Michael Max was on the TV as well. He was, he, he was doing interviews as well. Acc- so if accolades just- and status matters. Okay. Like my, uh, Malcolm X had rhetoric. That re- rhetoric is beautiful. Man, but you... Your chicken's coming home to roost. Tell me, t- explain. Go ahead, keep going. Well, what I'm, what I'm speaking on is... <clears throat> the the rhetoric that Malcolm had, and he was speaking on like live TV, which was it was only like a couple channels back then. So it was you had your ABCs and your NBCs. So if he was on either one of those, and he was speaking on his talking points, yes, they would they would have to cut to commercial whenever he got too deep into his bag. Yes. Now Muhammad Ali, they never had to cut to commercial because he was still a safe bet. Yeah. Even, even 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 though he's speaking his mind, he's not gonna go the extra mile. Bobby Womack got a song. And he talking about you gotta be commercial, and Muhammad Ali was extra commercial. Correct. So th- I wouldn't figure he would be the greatest black role model as far as an athlete goes. Ain't no black athlete no great role model. <laughs> None. <laughs> Ain't no great black comedian no role model. And the uh, only reason I say Kanye is because. He went from being a worker, he went from being the talent to being the boss. Correct. The thing that he was able to accomplish as far as having a partnership with Adidas, having a partnership with The Gap, like, this ain't just talent for hire. This this is a man who walks into the room and says, I demand respect because my talent commands respect. This is a vision. Bro, I'm a thought leader in America. No, he he, he definitely changed patterns. I mean, hey... Uh, I, I can remember back in the day, not to cut your wisdom. I can remember back in the day, like in '09 or '08, when Kanye came out with the with the with the shades, right? Yeah, yeah, the, like the, 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 wind. the black, the blinds. I seen so many people with those. He is a literal. He's a curator of culture, and we won't even support that man, and that's a problem Be- because of how the media portrays him. There's 7.5 million Jews in America. There are damn near 50 million black men in America, black people in America. Ain't no way in hell that that because he says a thing about a community that's not my community, I'm supposed to say, Kanye shouldn't have said that about them. Correct. But that's that's coming from your perspective. Now, when Kanye wore the MAGA hat, What's which, up? Which, which is great to me. To Make me, America yeah. great again, bro. What's wrong what, with that? What, what is wrong with that? Why there is no industries in America. Like, if you go look at any kind of tax, there is no made in the USA. That's that's gone. How you a black but man made you, in America and mm-hmm. you don't love America? Correct. Are you crazy? We have we don't have to, but that'll be a starting point. They'll call me a coon because I made a statement that says "Make America Great Again." If black people really wanted discipline, you would start with loving where you at. If black people really wanted power, they would start with loving where they at. That is true. If man, if if Muhammad Ali, if Malcolm X, there was a young man by the name of Fred Hampton. Yes, sir. And guess what he did? He had at 19 years old, he had the ideology that said if poor black men align with poor white men, then we could have some actual economic power in America. And they killed that it man. A, it was suit. a rainbow coalition, but not in the sense of rainbow as we know it today. I hate that terminology yes, because sir. because the, the person who perpetuated that terminology, he sacrificed the black community for every other community. Every he powerful black man. He was bringing in the Latinos. He was bringing in the Caucasians. And them, and them people don't like me. I, I I'm not gonna necessarily say that they don't they don't like us. Why not? Why won't you say it? I say it. Be- ain't, okay. ain't no other community finna put the black community above their community. But that don't mean that you don't like me. Because I'm not I'm not about to put nobody else's community before mine. Bullshit. But that don't mean that I don't like them. 
I'm a black man in America. And that and, don't mean that I don't like Asians. And and that if, don't mean and that I don't if like you align with me I based on policy. Yes, sir. I'm finna thump as hard as I'm gonna thump for my people for you because I know you fighting the exact same fight that I'm fighting. Correct. Okay, and so and so when it for every but I, I I don't necessarily want other like I don't necessarily look to other races to fight my fight. Why not? Because it's not their it's not their duty. There would not because be. it's not my duty to go to go like right now in the Middle East. It's not my duty to go stand front line on somebody else's conflict. I don't live. Now, in, now, now, I don't I can, live in the Middle East. I live in America. Correct. So I can, I can, I can agree with with certain policies, or or I can go with it. But I'm not going to sacrifice my my being for that. Now I will sacrifice my being for a black cause. But I'm not. I'm not, I'm not mad. What's, I'm a, not mad. what's a black cause? Uh, a black cause would would be something that would be beneficial to the overall thought process of the black community. Was Black Lives Matter a black cause? It could have been. It was a gay cause. It it it, it could it was, have been. It was it was three gay women pushing the propaganda to destroy the black family. No 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 no. They hijacked it. Who hijacked but it? They did. Okay, so cool. If you if you are looking in, in I'm looking at the specific movement in the founders, Patrice Colors right. and those individuals. Right. Three gay but, black women who so, are pushing a gay agenda. So when I say that they hijacked it, it the movement was already in motion. It Brother, wasn't. It was. It, it didn't have a name, nor did it have a term. But black people were fed up, so yeah. it was already a movement going. There was a French politician, and he was he was having a conversation. He saw the mob going down the street, and he said, "There goes my people. I must follow them because I am their leader." But why would you follow being a leader? A, a, a leader is supposed to point. The people are going to go in the direction they're going to go. Poor people know exactly what they need. And Correct. the only thing that you're supposed to do is harness that energy and guide them in the direction that they're already going. Correct. And so when, so, when a, so when they talked about Black Lives Matter and black men are being gunned down in America from Tamir Rice to Eric Garner to uh, uh, Mike Brown, when these individuals are, are dying by the hands of the state, black men are supposed to harness that energy and say, that's me and we're going. Correct. But instead, we, I'm not going to follow no woman that's, that's, nowhere. That's because, okay, those women recognize the foundation that was being laid. And they then they, in, 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 in order to get their point across, they hijacked it. They recognize black girl. I don't, a bunch of people put money behind them. Billionaires Correct. put money the behind Soros. them. Be, thank you so much for, for, for saying the name out. Say they name. <laughs> Say they name. Oh, we going to get into it. Too. The yeah. Soroses, they put the yes, money sir. behind them because they will, they will say black girl magic all day long. Yeah. They ain't finna say no black man magic. When was the last time you heard that first? Black girl magic? Correct. Now, now it was it was being pushed for a couple of years. You know what I do here? I hear the black women are the most educated. I hear black women are, are the most creating businesses, buying homes, all these things, and they won't acknowledge that they suck in the government's dick to go get it. Correct. You you won't suck my dick, but you go suck the government's dick. That's a problem. Is it a problem? And then look at me and be like, you "Come follow me." How the hell am I gonna go follow you into another nigga's home? Hmm. They'll do anything for me not to be able to establish an organization or an industry that perpetuates black men being powerful in America. And so you know what they do? Can't no black woman in America talk to me about no power because every time she engages in an intimate encounter with her partner, he is dominating her. Right. Ain't no female lover dominating her partner because the moment I get tired of her riding on this meat, I'm going to flip her over, I'm going to beat it. <laughs> And so all this Correct. female propaganda, I'm like, beat it, cause that's that's not it's not no power. Right. If you can't defend your ideas, you ain't got no ideas. I'm willing. I'm willing to. I'm, you, you willing to go off on that here? I'm. I'm gonna lay. I'm gonna lay my life down for mine. Correct. And so when you talk about other, now, I don't. I don't. I, I don't really feel as though the black woman understands her power. So so the way that she wields it would be completely different than. It, what she's supposed to be doing with it now granted yeah she is gonna go with that white man the first chance she gets she gonna go with that white man if if this if this white man can provide food and housing and and, and, and clothing and such then she will go with that white man In the and physical at the form. same time at the same time they they'll, they'll still be like i don't like white people ain't no man dominating you not not at all ain't no woman dominating you not at all i'm a poor nigga in america ain't nobody dominating me 
Not at all. Every woman, as soon as she goes home, if she wants some loving, she's getting dominated. How can that be a powerful person? We, we, what, how, how they break it down would be their mindset. But it in in then to fight me, for your mindset then. They're not. Then what the you ain't then They're what, not. Then what you the can, hell am I who's listening the, to? You who's, for? The, who's the most powerful black woman in today's time? Who 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 would you say who is the most powerful woman? None. None. Zero. Okay. I would rebuttal that with it would be Oprah. Oprah Winfrey. But Oprah Winfrey is still getting pipe. What power does she have? She she has the ability to to persuade people. She went and built a girl's school in Africa somewhere. I never heard about it again. You know why? You know why she can't build a girl's school in America? I don't know why. Why? Like that's 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 some stupid because ass shit. Because you you cannot you cannot develop powerful black infrastructure in America. It's not tolerated. As Kanye was building a school, you know what they did to his school? Shut that motherfucker down. Yeah, done the academy. You doing too much. You do, and, and and no one wants to have an honest conversation about being black in America because no one gives a damn about being black in America. And our, most black our, folks, our curriculum would be different. And most black folks don't give a damn about black folks in America. Not they, at all. They Not just want to put on the show. When I when I when I walk through these streets or when I'm outside, I can I can say hello like in the, in the morning time. I can say hello to fifty black men. How many of them are gonna respond with a? Hello, how you doing? It just it depends on your tonality. Correct. When I speak to you with authority, you gonna respond because when two That's men, it, so that'll be the thing. Black men do not respond well to authority. But you gotta be powerful anyway, though. But it, when it when it come to getting your message across, you you just can't come with a certain tone because certain people they they not really gonna feel as 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 you are talking to them. They'll be like you're talking at me. Let's have this conversation, bro. Yes, like I believe the only thing that I believe in the whole entire history of the world is power. That's all I believe in. If two men, if two men are walking down Martin Luther King Street right now, mm-hmm. guess what? I'm sizing them up. I'm See, looking at this but, man but like. Then, but then why? Do you, do you think that that other nationalities do that? Yes. If you are a man, then you better be aware of your surroundings at all times because you have to fight for yours. God won't have to. There, there is a hierarchy of power, and we acting like it ain't. It there really is. You have to fight for it. You have to believe in it. And if you ain't willing to fight for it, if you ain't willing to lay down your life for it, then it does not exist. It's just a figment of your imagination. It's just an empty-ass thought. And the black community is filled with empty-ass thoughts. Well, most definitely. Most and, definitely. And, I'm, and I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm willing to bang for it. Correct. I'm willing to, I'm willing to talk. I'm, but then how many people can you tell your message to that you can get your point across to? Because at the same time, Ask if, me you, again. if you are willing, how many people can you tell your message to and get your point across? 4,000 subscribers. <laughs> Let them know. Two million views. Let them know. Let Standing know. on this hill. Correct. If you don't like it, fuck it. I'm Correct. willing to fight for it. Correct. I've been to the military. Yes, I've been to the penitentiary. Mm. And on every one of these spaces, I'm willing to stand on it, lay my life down for it. What's up? Fade all, bar none. Bar none. Bar none. Absolutely. And if you thump me, I'm going to go do my push-ups and come back and say, run it back, nigga. Yeah. We're going to fight all day, nigga. Correct. American government, we're going to fight all day, nigga. There is no overtaking. Black America, we're going to fight all day, nigga. But white, we, white feel, America, we're going to fight all day. I feel as though the black man has been stripped of his, like, his entitlement. Like you are entitled to certain things in this world, yeah. God God granted you certain things in this yeah, world, yeah, yeah, yeah. and now you gave someone else access to it, and yeah. then now they are you, you in know, control. You know, of you know what God gave you? A mind that think and has to do, my brother. The ability to go fight for it. <laughs> <laughs> Entitlement, shit. <laughs> Most you, definitely, you ain't entitled to shit except for opportunity. That's it. That's it, bro. And we ain't making the most of the opportunity in one of the greatest nations that ever existed in the history of the world. One of the, the greatest. World. And I will repeat, one of the greatest. Based on power. Nations. Bro, it's 330 million people and we dominate a world of 7, 8 billion people. Billion. They fold at our at our beck and call. They do what we want them to do. So can I, can I ask you a serious question? What's up? Do you feel like the American dollar will make it in, in the next century? I don't care about the American dollar. All I care about is the American people. And as long as the mm-hmm. American people believe in manifest destiny and have the opportunity to, to go fight, I think we'll exist. I don't give a shit if the euro became the most powerful thing. Like, 
the the mindset of the American person, that freedom, that creativity, the th like this this thought experiment that is America yes, is sir. one of the most powerful thought experiments of freedom. Correct, because all those pilgrims left England because they 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 felt what oppressed oppressed <laughs> yes bro indeed. and all these individuals man there's a cuban person coming across on a raft right now and and, and fighting sharks and, and dehydration to get here there's a mexican right now dehydration uh, coming come across uh coyotes in the desert in the rio grande to come and get right here sure and then then i'm here and I, i'm so thankful for my for my ancestors who who endured the hardship to be here Correct. And now I sit there and I. And so then, why would you shit on where you at? Stop it. Yeah. Be thankful. Why would you piss in the wind and it's coming back on you? Be grateful. Make America great right now, motherfucker. Please. Uh, immediately. But at the same time, there is nothing that America is producing other than musicians. Like uh, our our number one export used to be actual steel. Like they had, they had steel mills. We had like the best cars in the world. We our, had all these other things. Our number one export is war at this point. And so living in a nation of war, I've been bred and grown to be a warrior. Do you ever feel as though we will be in a position to have a civil war in this time? It's happening right now. And it's not it's not being fought with guns. Okay. It's being fought with ideas. And we are no. losing in the ideological space. Yes, and so if we don't acknowledge actual power, we're going to continue to get dominated. And I don't want to get dominated. I, there's no way, no how. I'm not about to be dominated. But you have to take a step back and look at the totality of what is going on in order to make a, a, a honest assessment. Now, if you're not willing to do that, then your opinion means what? Right now, in this economy that we're living in right now, it's a media economy. And yes. that camera is one of the scariest things in the whole entire world because ain't nobody willing to stand in front of that camera and mm. say exactly what they think and then stand on it because Correct. they're like, man, I'm going to get judged for what I'm thinking. Right. And so for you to even have this conversation is courageous. Because before you can ever have action, you have to have the thought. And now we're having the conversation. If you disagree, do something. If you agree, do something. Correct. The greatest American alive. 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 Now, you can, you can tell me what you want to do. You can ride down on your ops all day and do all this extra shit. But you are you really willing to fight for the overall good of our community? I don't believe so. I am. You are. Are you? I am. Let's get busy. <laughs> yes, sir.